Ohm's Law and Power and Basic Circuits, both series and parallel. Before we begin to solve circuits, we need to see the big picture by looking at Kirchhoff's laws. Kirchhoff's first law is a current law, and here's what it says. The sum of the currents entering a junction equals the sum of the currents leaving a junction. So suppose we have three wires. Here's a junction. Current I1 comes in, current I2 comes in. Well, what happens? And the answer is current is conserved. <laughs> current is not lost. What comes into the junction will leave the junction, no matter how many wires meet at the junction. So I3 will equal I1 plus I2. It really is that simple. Now let's try this with some real numbers. Suppose 2 amps comes into the junction, and suppose 1 amp comes into a junction. What leaves the junction? And the answer, you can just do it in your head, pretty much. How much leaves? And the answer is, well, I3 equals 2 plus 1. And we have 3 amps that leave that junction. Now we've already seen this when we've looked at parallel circuits. But let's look at the parallel circuit one more time now with this new information, that the sum of the currents will be the same. So we have, from the positive terminal, a total current coming into a junction. It then splits up, and that total current will equal I1 plus I2 plus I3. It now comes back to the junction, where that current will add up again I1 plus I2 plus I3, and the total current going to the junction, I1 plus I2 plus I3 and that's called Kirchhoff's current law. We've also seen his voltage law. Here's what it says. The sum of all the potential differences going around any circuit must equal zero. Now we've seen this. Here's a simple series circuit. We start uh, going through the battery and we gain a voltage of V total. We're gaining potential. Through the resistance, we lose V1. Through R2, we will lose V2, so we subtract V2. Through R3, we lose V3. And so, we write minus V3, and all of that will equal zero. We've seen this. This is Kirchhoff's voltage law.